y'all, welcome to your next math lesson on box and whisker plots. I decided to wear a spirit shirt for the occasion, but it's really hot, so you know, the sleeves pulled up. All right, this lesson is number 143, and it's on box and whisker plots. I attached a document to this lesson, this document right here, and I've blown it up on the screen so that you can see it a little better. Now, I know that on this screen, it's a little unclear because it's you know, blown up for you. So you might wanna have this in front of you while you're listening to this lesson. All right, a box and whisker plot is a little different than the plots and graphs we've done before. In the example on the um, document that I'm sure you have pulled up in front of you because I said that would be a good idea. You also might wanna have your book open at page 140, I'm sorry, 344. So you can look at the definitions of the words I'm going to use to make sure you're clear on them. All right, in this example, we have test scores. Here is our data, but here is the same data, but it's ordered from least to greatest. Remember how I told you that on your plots and graphs, you might wanna have, the first thing you might wanna do is order them from least to greatest, because it's a lot easier to find things like the mean, median, range, and mode when they're ordered from least to greatest. Okay. Here's how you figure out a box and whisker plot. The very first thing you need to find is your middle quartile. That basically means, well, actually exactly means, the median of your lowest score and your highest score. So our lowest score is 76. So 76 is right here on your screen. Our highest score is 98, it's all the way up here. But the easiest way to find the median is, if you already have them in order from least to greatest, is just start crossing them out. So I'm gonna cross out the smallest number and the biggest number, then the next one, and then the next one, and I'm gonna end up with an 85 and an 89 in the middle. When you end up with two numbers in the middle, you're gonna to want to average them together. So 85 plus 89 divided by two is 87. So you're gonna write 87 in the space that says middle quartile. Then you're gonna find 87 on your number line and you're gonna draw a line right above it. That's your middle quartile, easy peasy, right? Now we have to find the lower quartile, which according to your book is the median of the lower half. Now one thing that might help you out when you're doing this is to actually Put your data on your number line. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Our first score is 76. So I'm actually gonna write 76. Our next score is 80, so I'm gonna circle it. Then we have 82, 85, 89, 91, 95, and 98. I'm gonna to explain to you why this is a little better. It'll help you out a little bit. To find the lower quartile, you're gonna to wanna to find the median of the lower numbers. This is important. You can't include your median, okay? This is not included, so forget that. Any number to the left of that. We have four numbers, okay? We have a 76, an 80, an 82, and an 85, okay? Those are all the numbers on the lower half. So now we have to find the median of those. So if we cross them out, we're gonna end up with an 80 and an 82 in the middle. That's pretty easy to find the average of those because 80 plus 82 divided into is 81. So our lower quartile is 81. And once again, we're gonna find that number on our number line and we're gonna draw a little line. Middle quartile, lower quartile. To find the upper quartile, it's basically the same thing, except this time we're looking to the right of our middle quartile. Remember, do not include this number. Only include the numbers above it. So we have an 89, a 91, a 95, and a 98. So I'm gonna cross them out again. 
and once again, we end up with two numbers in the middle. So we're gonna add those up and divide it by two. 91 plus 95 divided by two is 93. Middle quartile, lower quartile, upper quartile. Since we discovered it's 93, we're gonna do another line. Okay, lower quartile, middle quartile, upper quartile. Now here's what we do. This is why we call it a box and whisker plot. You're gonna connect your lines just like that. There's your box. Our whiskers are from the end of the box to our lowest amount of data. It's not the lowest point, not the lowest point on the number line, it's to the lowest data, which is 76. So we're gonna draw a line over there and do a little dot. Our upper whisker is from the box to our highest data point. So that would be from the box to 98. Circle it in, okay? Box, whiskers, okay? This is our middle quartile is the median of all our data. Our low cor lower quartile is the median of all the data lower than the median. Our upper quartile is all the data, is the median of the data higher than the quartile. Box around it, draw your whiskers, and that is it.